Hello and very well welcome to this video. In this video we're going to talk about a brand new update that's come to the American version of QuickBooks which means here in the UK I'm on good authority. We're going to get this at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later because I think you're going to really like this update. This update is a brand new lick of paint for the world of budgets. Now budgets have been within QuickBooks Online for a long long time. Difference is though now budgets is a major part of QuickBooks Advance. With that in mind, it looks like QuickBooks have gone along and made budgets a little bit better. And I'm really excited to show you all how it looks. Come with me and let's go and see exactly how the new version of budgets compares against the old version. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of Fancy New Logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffies, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live each and every Monday morning, 8.30 a.m. for Ask the Accountant. Now, we're going to keep this straightforward because we're about to go and have a look at the world of budgets. And budgets has had a nice little makeover. Now, first, before we go and look at the makeover, let's refresh ourselves exactly what budgets used to look like. So if I go and sign myself in and jump into any file that is plus or above, so plus or advanced, I'm actually gonna go into the advanced file because I feel like the advanced file is actually pushing you to have uh, budgets more than anything else. Because on the left-hand side, you'll notice that budget appears here. Now, budgets has always been in the plus product. Under tools, you have had budgeting just there. But either way, I go into budgets, add my first budget, and this is how it used to look. So you kind of have the opportunity to put a name up here. So look put budget, picture financial here, pick your interval, picture preview data, don't subscribe, uh, uh, don't sub, sub, uh, subdivide or do sub, sub, subdivide. And then this is your area. You used to put figure in here, press a little button, and you could create your budgets like that. And then once you've created your budget, you save them, you can print a report against them. Do some nice little reporting if you need to. And that was lovely. We loved budgets. Budgets has been one of those things within QuickBooks we've always really liked. But let's have a look at the new version of budgets then. So I'm going to create a brand new type of client. Now, interestingly on this one, I've chosen American, this is American, but I have chosen this to be advanced version as well. And on the left hand side, just like in the UK version, on the advanced version, budgets is prominent. Again, it is also up here on the company cog and budgeting. It will take you to the same place. So straight away, we've got a whole new page. We've got the opportunity to create a budget and create in spreadsheet sync. And that's one of the new functions of it. We also have the opportunity to import budgets as well. So that's completely brand new. So here you can import budget from outside QuickBooks, select the time period, download a budget template. So if I download it now, and then upload that budget. I am absolutely loving this bit straight away. It's a big tick from me. So I can put 1,000 there, 14 there, there, there. Let's put these in the sales. And then I can go through some expenses as well. Now, unfortunately, my chart accounts is quite limited on this one, but you can kind of get the idea and just save that. That means now I can upload my budget and that automatically gonna come straight in. Straight away, we could never do that before. The fact that we can, absolutely loving this. It's got auto save enabled, um, show all reference data as well. So I can go against actuals versus uh, normal. So this whole page here, I can set my period up. I can look at my actual reference data. I can bring year to date or actuals in as well, just like we could on the old one. Switch it quickly to yearly, quarterly, and monthly. Um, and I can put them in there. Now, none of this is done as well. So I now have a, a new budgets total here. So if I'm saying, well, actually, there was some uncategorized income, I'd never expect there to be some. Um, I put it in there, press tab, it automatically fills in the rest for me. Um, but then if I see that there's some billable expenses there, I can go press a little button, it'll cross them all across for me, and I can see my budget starting to come into play. Absolutely loving this. 
Now this auto save enabled options, let's just see what's in here first. So I can hide empty rows if I need to, I can keep it compact if I want to. Auto save the budget, press apply. Down the bottom, save and close, save and edit in spreadsheet. And it's the edit in spreadsheet that I'm excited to do. So let's save and proceed. Um, let's go and let's open Microsoft Excel. So I get to launch. And here she is, manage budget. So click on that one. Edit an existing budget for that one. Oh, no, no, wrong, wrong, but budgets. Budget PL, press next. Wow, okay. So I get a notes and control area. So for support, I get to go in here. I've got budgets, I can put control income. Using the template helps you actually and effectively import budgets. Template will automatically load accounts from the company. You can rename the budget and add in numbers and uh, formulas. You can edit the figures and you can bring it in there. If you copy values from this, we can pay for sales. Here's your consolidated budget though. Coming through, so you can see that there. I can add things to this if I want to. And if I do, I have put 500 pound in May 2026. I press sync and it was automatically um, edited from there. That is absolutely insane if that has worked because that is brilliant. So if I go out there, let's go back into that budget. May, 500 pounds appeared as if by magic. Like, wow, um, I'm impressed with that. That's That works really well. Um, yeah, so that's, that's as simplified as that's ever gonna get for you really in terms of that going through. So again, I could, let's change that to well, let's change that to 1,500. Uh, continue editing. Oh, oh, okay, 1,500. Sync to QuickBooks. Continue editing. Over here. Let's come out of it. Let's go back in. And that's been updated, so that may 2023, it's as simple as that, it just syncs directly to the two of them. Um, I haven't got on this one any actual data to show, but let's go and put March 2023 in for now. So let's do save and close, and I'm just gonna quickly go in, and I'm gonna go and put a journal entry in. And I'm just gonna do uh, March 2023. Oh, it's America, isn't it? Um, let's do sales. Let's do a whole new line, actually. Just do sales. Um, update. Let's call that a income. Sales product save. And let's say there was five thousand pound there. Um, I'm still that draw into food one there. Cash count. <laughs> Anything I can put it against? Oh, they could use it. And save and close. So there should now be 5,000 actual income there. So I do run a budget versus, what do you call it, report. And I go to March. March put it oh it was May I put it in my fault but yeah there's actual versus budget so we can see we're over budget there and that's just coming through as you need to but also if I was to go back to my budgeting I could actually go and edit the budget oh run reports in spreadsheet sync so I could click that and press let's go open Microsoft and go directly to there so I could easily go in and make amendments if I need to. Other options I have here is duplicate, delete, view and edit. But so if I view and edit, and I do actual year to date, then if I show reference data, then there's that 5,000 appearing there in May 2023. So I would probably want to put my budget of 4,500 against that. Save it. Again, edit in spreadsheet if I want to. Let's go. Straight in there. And I am already knew I was going to be there because that's where I was already. Um, 
So yeah, um, these figures are coming through automatically. That's coming through. I can do company settings. I can sync back to QuickBooks if I need to. Area for comments. And the ultimate idea of this is that I could then maybe do cash flow forecasting tools or something based on this um, because that information is coming through. So yeah, very nice. And that's really it for the update. Overall, really exciting updates. Giving us all the tools we've needed is much more opportunity for us to be able to be more granular in our budgeting going forward. It's a much cleaner setup. The fact that it now syncs to spreadsheet does unlock quite a lot of options for us and definitely something we'll start exploring more as we go along. But overall, really happy with this update. I think this is a sort of update that just makes sense, right? Like it's just a thumbs up, works. We can see what it was before. We saw it was a little bit dated. This one's come along with some nice lick, a lick of paint. And ultimately, I'm really happy with it. The fact that you've got that new budgeting totem on the left-hand side, the fact you can bring your actuals in directly from here. Um, yeah, I'm more than happy with that. Now, the only one thing we didn't look at was, let's go and create a brand new one. Because we imported. I mean, the fact you can import a budget is huge, right? I'm really, really excited for that. But if I was to create a new one from scratch, um, I can see that I've got a profit and loss. I've got my period I can choose. I can do consolidated budget or subdivided budget. So I can based on individuals like customers and, um, and we can subdivide by there. Um, or, or I could just do a custom budget and I can create uh, a budget from scratch just from there. And then the fact that it gives me a budget type at the top at the moment, profit and loss, that's, that's, that's hopeful, right? Hopeful that going forward, there's more than just profit and loss that's gonna be available to me there. That'd be lovely to see. But then I press next and I'm presented with the same page that I have been, which is, yeah, everything that I need. Top left hand corner, I can change my name of it. I've got these tick boxes, so I'm gonna do some batch actions. I can copy reference data or I can clear data. So let's just see exactly how that copy reference works. So let's say here I had 5,000 pound and I split it. If I was to tick this and do copy reference data, then it brings everything down to zero. Copy reference data is bringing it back to the actual. So what your reference data is, so you can bring that information straight there. So tick it on that one and do copy reference data, it's automatically put the 5,000 because that's my actual figures that have come through. Um, and if that was a previous year, it's given me a starting point, right? I can even bring it in from a different budget look. So I brought this, my reference data's budget of here, then I can go in and I could tick them all. I can do copy reference data. It's gonna pre-fill them for me. Wow, I'm really liking that. That's brilliant. Um, that is gonna be quite powerful because that means it gives you a great starting point. Uh, all it's, you know, actual datas. And then you go in and say, actually, I want this sales update and that sales figure to copy reference data and it'll reset that to whatever reference data you had. So yeah, I'm loving that. I think that works really, really well. So that's it. That is your new budgeting area in QuickBooks. Really, really like it. I think this is gonna be exciting addition to the British, to the UK one when that comes along. Hopefully it comes around soon um, and we can then start utilizing it in our practice. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think to the new update? Is there anything else they could have brought in here? Was you expecting anything more? Personally, I feel like this is bringing us within parity with all the other budgeting uh, software when we talk about budgeting within their FMS and within their uh, bookkeeping solution. I feel like this is really on par with what we're getting elsewhere, so I can't complain myself. But let me know below. Is there anything else you'd like to see? Have you used this yet? Give me your feedback on it. It'll be great to see how that's going. My name's been Aaron Patrick. As always, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. If you like it in any way, please use this like, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. And we will continue to create great content on the world of QuickBooks because I know there's some really good updates on its way. And it's always great. And if you want to be the first to know about it and be the first to understand exactly what those updates do, you're already in the right place. So make sure you stick around. Cheers for now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.